Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. Here she is. I gave y'all a little sneak peek of our new custom aluminum boat. I don't know a whole lot about these things, but I know it's going to be right. So I'm going to do my best to explain everything to you. This is an 1854, 18 foot long, 54 wide. Uh, Rick and them it squared up. Welding and fabrication built this 22 inch sides I'm gonna just kind of go over. I hadn't really looked at it. He brought this thing to me about the time The motor got delivered. We stuck it on there and I backed it in the barn. So I'm gonna kind of go over it with y'all Kind of fresh with me. We looked over it a little bit when we first uh, Test drive this thing. We're gonna get Rick over here I've never fooled with one of these. Not that we can't do it, but I want to get Rick over there because he'll show me some stuff, tricks and this and that, and we're going to try to do a good video on that. But anyway, starting at the bottom, I wanted, I didn't want a single axle trailer, so I got him to build us a dual axle trailer. I mean, he built everything. He built the trailer, boat, everything. So we got us a dual axle trailer i wanted that in case you happen to have a flat on the road or something it sure don't need it for weight but you could pull one off strap it up and keep rolling but very nice built trailer put us some steps on here made out some good channel got the runners under there he built the trailer just to the trailer just i mean to the boat just custom custom I like it. Got some good lights in the back. And I love these ratchet strap deals. I mean, the boat's just flush right on the back. Reach up there and ratchet her down. This thing's going to be nice. Looks like the cat's done been on it. I wanted to keep her clean for a little bit and show y'all. She's not going to stay that way long. But anyway, I sure don't know much about these boat motors, but this is the new Gator Tail rxd it says it's a 40 what's this thing a 40 yeah it's got the vanguard 40 electronic fuel injected this thing ought to be bad the only thing rick forgot to do and what he thought his fuel line was going to be long enough and it wasn't oh uh, i gotta get us a little fuel line we did crank it with the it's still got a little gas in it we could crank it but i'm not going to right now crank it um everything's good we gotta show y'all where the fuel tank gas line and all that is in a minute we gotta gotta have us just a couple of feet of uh fuel line there and we can get this thing going got backup lights in it both sides and they put our you know a lot of these boats has got the pole that you put up front for your navigation lights he's got these built in so this thing's gonna be neat, y'all. We're thinking how to have fun. Don't know what I'll do with the low boats yet. But is this thing I can't get over looking at it, y'all. This is just it's just a plain, just basically a plain boat. Is that not cool though? I mean, I really didn't. The only thing I asked him that I wanted, of course, he recommended this motor for what I'm gonna be doing. So we did that. I told him I wanted the grab bar here and uh kind of told him what color i wanted and i told him to make his own decision on the hydro turf it's a little dirty now because of the uh cats and me stepping up on it but the the hydro turf looks almost a charcoal gray but that's black boy i'm gonna whoop me some cats for scratching on this too that ain't gonna work but anyway oh um, Got the hydro turf. We were going to put some down through here, but he wanted me to look at it first. It was going to end up being on such a thin strip, so probably going to leave that off. This is where my uh, my rear navigation light goes. All right, we got that there. I'm trying to show y'all everything. I mean, look how neat he did this, running all your wires and everything in there. This is going to be handy stepping up on, too. I just like that. It's just cool looking. Just wasted space on most boats, but this right here is going to work. Let me see what else we got before I get in there. Gas tank's in this box. I'll show you all that in a minute. This is how we're going to fill the gas. This is pretty much like on the low boat. Pretty neat right there. 
All right, these are, of course, you got the winch up here and all. Jack. I mean, this thing is built for this boat. I mean, when you get up there and get stopped, it's perfect on the back. Dad gum cats. I'm going to quit talking about the cats. That's aggravating. I can't stand cats anyway. But these cats are my dad's down here, so we ain't going to bother them yet. But these lights, tractor supply lights, we've both had super good luck with the tractor supply lights. He says they're bright. I ain't even fired them up. And it's going to be easy if you ever have a problem to work on them. They're not going to be in the way right there. He built this little bar. Look how he did that little custom turn with the boat there. I mean, that's just sharp. You could tie off right there. We're going to tie. We could tie off right there. This thing is just, just about too fancy for me. This is going to be a hunting machine. Cats, cats, cats. All right. Cats done got it dirty. Ain't no need in us worrying about getting something dirty because y'all know we're going to use it. I'm going to show y'all a little bit about this motor that I don't know. I don't know a whole lot. Got the hour meter and all right there. We might crank it here in just a sec. Tiller steer. Crank it right here. Got your uh, safety switch here. Forward and reverse right here. Neutral. Tilt the tiller and oh, oh, what do you call that? I lost my train of thought. Anyway, motor up and down right there. I, you can get a twist throttle now, and I decided to get the uh, squeeze handle. That's kind of what Rick recommended. Let's see if this baby will crank. All right, she ought to be about out of gas. Oh, sounds good, don't it? Handle will just raise up. Oh, I'll tell y'all something I was going to show y'all on this gator tail I like. Let me hop down real quick. You know how most boat motors, you've got your bar that goes from here down? This deal right here, trim, power trim up there. That's what I was trying to think of right here. This is your uh, boat latch, motor latch, whatever you want to call it. You just have to... Uh, Trim it down a little bit and take this just right here. Go ahead. And I'm talking about she gets rock solid right there. I like that. Let me see if I can make it work right. Rick did it the other day and I ain't done it. Let's see if we can do this. See which way you go. Trim it up just a little bit. And look at this. Let me see. I went, did I go the right way? Yeah. Yeah, I went the right way. You just swing the motor a little bit now and take this, uh, or do one hand, take that off right there. And you and then when you put that on, when you get out of the water, this thing's pretty cool now. I like it. See that? See how tight that got? I like that. And if you happen to lose that, it would be nothing to make. That was one of the neatest parts I saw. We got to learn to drive this baby. This is a mud motor right here. It's a big old motor, too. That sun gun is big. All right, let's get back inside and check this thing out. Trying not to track up too much. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Rick puts these big old plugs in the back so you can wash it out because we're going to have blood, guts, and mud and everything else in it. So we got to be able to clean it. That's a big old motor right there. All right. All right, they sent me a, with the engine, sent me a tube of grease for the foot, a couple of fuses in there. All right, let's start from the back and start looking, see what we see what we got. Of course, this is going to be my seat. Got my grab handle there, stand up or whatever, I like it. All right, like I said, this is just a simple, simple boat, but she's bad. There's my drain in the floor right there. All right. See what I was back here. There's my navigation light deal for the back right here. Got my battery. It's got a power switch here. This thing right here, the master power switch, is not run through the battery. He decided not to do that. It's just run to everything else electrical, and it's off right now. Notice the motor still crunk, so that's good. The motor will charge. Got my battery right here. I got to run, that's what I gotta do. I gotta get some fuel line to run from my bubble here up to the 
fuel line right there. We're gonna do that. Builds pump. Of course, the battery cables got the battery in here. Got it in a little box, riveted down, right down there. I mean, this thing is too much for us. I mean, it's not just not nothing fancy. It's just a. This is gonna be a hunting boat. Trot line and boat, whatever. It's gonna be perfect. Might even pull a inner tube on it. You never know what we're gonna do. Well, I pull inner tube through the mud. This is gonna be nice, y'all. All right. I like the way he did them boxes. See how this lip goes over this lip right here. Water tight. Put your life jackets, whatever you want in there. All right, that's the back box. He didn't put any locks in them. I didn't, I didn't, anytime I get in and out, I'm gonna take everything out and throw it in the truck. So, didn't put any uh, lights right there. Got a little drain hole right there. Drain hole back there. I like this. He put my trays in here. Lay your shotgun right there whatever when you're going hunting i mean this thing's got one reason i wanted to do the tiller steer of course they say i hadn't fooled with one a whole lot besides our little bitty boat oh uh, they say it is just super quick in the timber and i mean i'm sitting right here and we're gonna we're gonna mount us a gopro right here or something when we go riding but this thing is just gonna be super comfortable and if you want to stand up hold on to the grab bar if you're riding through some timber or something and what I like about what I was going to say, uh, just look at all the floor space you got right here. Big old deer or something look good. Turkey flopped up on there, down in here, whatever. You know, if you kill too many and overlive it, you can hide some down in here. No, I'm just playing on that. We ain't going to do that. We might, but, you know, it's just, it's just going to be fun to play with. The low boat may go. I don't know. But I did learn one thing in the low boat. If you, when me and Cody went to the river during the summertime, that floor gets hot. But they say this stuff tastes just cool as can be. But that's a lot of storage right there. Had to get us a paddle, drop it down in there. I mean, this thing is just going to be nice. Rattle free. This is just going to be nice. All right, let's see what else we got. Of course, this handle don't lock, I don't think. It just goes up and down. Rick said he just leaves his right here all the time. And I like the squeeze deal. Gator tail. That's a big old Vanguard motor, ain't it? All right, when we get our fuel line run through there, got one zippy tie right here. We'll zip tie all that tight. All right, let's move towards the the front but i think right here i think i was thinking about uh, telling brad the other day we're gonna have to go fishing but trot lining and all you know if you're back there holding everything steady may have to get us another light to put up here or something but sitting on this rail like i'm sitting on pulling trot lines or standing up there pulling jugs or whatever i just believe this thing's gonna gonna work better than the low boat of course, we had the gas field right there. Lights is up there. You know, they ain't in the way of nothing. Oh, got to put us a rope up there so we can tie off a tree if we go hunting this public land and stuff. But this thing is, guess got a lot of floor space. All right, up to the front box. I saw one he built the other day. He built a fuel, guy wanted the fuel tank right here. And uh, I didn't want that, and he wasn't crazy about it neither, but he used it as a step also. So, you notice we didn't put a trolling motor in it, because we're probably not going to do no kind of fishing like that. I'm not, I'm just not a big fisherman. We play ball and race in the summer, we'll hunt in the winter and the spring. Oh yeah, my fuel gauge is right here. And another thing also too, he didn't, uh, we didn't put this switch with the ignition switch on the key. It's just got a toggle switch back there to flip it. Just simpler to do. We simple. Simple. This is a nice lid. And you ain't gonna hurt nothing standing on this dude. Alright. Got a lot of stove. Uh oh. She fell over. Got my fuel tank right there. 12 gallon. He said I'll be tired of riding. By the time I run that out of gas. Got a lot of storage up here. If we want to put life jackets. Whatever. There's a little... Backside the fuel gauge there. 
fuel lines run under the floor. This thing's got that tubing all the way under it and then floor on top of it. I mean, this is just a, this is going to be a fun, fun play toy. You see how he did those? See how this box goes over it? Pretty much watertight. I ain't going to say you ain't going to get a little bit in there, but it's pretty watertight. But this is just an awesome boat for old country boy over there to, man, I'd put this up against Prodigy anybody, anybody. I mean, they just did a heck of a job. Oh, there's, did I show y'all my switch panel? It's got a, let's see, we got, I don't remember what they all are. Oh, of course the power switch is off. Oh, I forgot one thing. All right, one thing I did ask him. It's got a switch for the for the uh, backup lights, switch for the bilge pump, switch for the uh, navigation lights, switch for the fuel gauge. Oh, and then a switch for our main lights up front. And uh, here's one thing he added that I didn't even ask for. He just did it. Let me see if I can get under here. See them lights there? I'm gonna, let me cut this power switch off. We gotta see them. We're gonna get it out at, at night, and uh, y'all can tell how, how excited I am about this thing. We're gonna have some fun. All right, let me get my main power on here. All right, we on. All right, let's see. I think this one right here was my, yeah. Yeah, I know y'all probably can't see it, but fuel guy ain't none in it, but it jumps. That's my fuel switch. Bilge pump. Oh, let's see. I don't know. That may make my backup lights. No, I don't know what. Oh, let's look on here and see. Oh, yep, that's the one. That third switch there. Y'all watch this. I'm going to lay down for y'all. Look them right there, them snake lights. Green. Is that not going to be cool? <laughs> Yes, sir. We need to have it out at night. I'm not sure. I think that switch run these running lights, too. Yep, yep. See them up there? See on the right side? Green over there. Should be red over here. Red over here. <coughs> All right, that's what that did. All right, let's see. That may be the... That's probably the backup lights. I believe it is where they at. Yep, yep. Backup lights. I like them. All right, now we got one switch left. That's gonna be the front lights. We gotta get it out at night to see it. Let's see if it'll light the back of the Nissan up. Oh yeah, them's gonna be right. Can y'all tell I'm excited? Some shavings and stuff down in there. We'll take it. Take a few washings, and get everything out. I think this thing is right. All right, let's cut this switch off. All right, switches off. Got her main. It was really simple. Oh, about the time Rick got over here the other day, and uh, with the boat, he brought it to me. It was about 30 minutes before we got the motor delivered to us. We set it down, put this clamp on, these two clamps on there, and it's got this little deal from Gator Tail goes on there. And then we all we had to do was take a 3 8 drill bit, drilled all the way through this, Put them two bolts on it, and I mean, she was bolted down and ready to roll. All we lack is about two foot or 18 inches of fuel line, and this baby could have went in the water. It didn't take us but a minute with the tractor to put the uh, motor on there. I should have videoed that, and I didn't, but this thing is just, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let's climb up here on top. I just ate some chicken fingers. If y'all hear me broing hard, I'm full. This is a pretty big deck up here. And y'all notice we ain't got no trolling motor. He'd have put it on there if I wanted it, but I, we ain't going to be doing no trolling. This thing is just cool now. I hate this junk's going to get a little dirty, but you know, with me, that ain't going to last long. I am just plum tickled with this, though. This is so much different than nothing wrong with the low boat over there, but this thing here is just, it's just solid, y'all. It's just custom. And y'all know I like custom stuff. I can't wait 
Turkey season is going to be a while, but I can't wait to get a deer up on top of this stuff. And we're just going to have blood rolling everywhere. We're going to wash blood out, maybe. But this thing is just cool. But you get in here in the mornings when you're going deer hunting. Let's just say we're going to go bow hunting. You know, we back here. We back here on our seat driving got our grab bar they call it i usually say something else but i won't today but you know you even if you had two people oh uh, you got you could have two stands two backpacks a couple of bows i mean it's just all kind of room i almost got him to build me a center console boat but we got to talk he said man for what you're doing with it he said he said this tiller steer he said, we might build one of them later, and he wants to build one. But he said, this is just going to be, for running down the river and doing what we're doing, this is going to be the best, all the floor space. I mean, this thing, you could set a four-wheeler down here if you wanted to, but we ain't gonna, probably won't go that far. We liable to end up somewhere and have that electric bike in here, though. But uh, I'm trying, I don't want to miss nothing. Don't want to miss nothing. I think it's going to be plenty. He says, I don't know if I've got any lights just like that, but he said he had them on the bumper of a truck, and he said that's brighter than his headlights. So I think we'll be fine on there. And one thing I do like about this, sometimes I'm going down the river in my low boat. You know, Mitt's got that boat that's the uh, center console, so you're kind of half standing up driving, you know. And uh, my boat, or most any boat that's got the seat and the steering wheel, you're sitting over here on the right side, and it's just to me it's hard to see oh i mean it does fine and all but it's just a little but sitting right here i mean i'm holding y'all right at eye level right here this is just gonna be through timber and stuff this is just gonna be easy to maneuver and like i said again you back here he said this thing will just nearly if we got it set right and that's one reason i want him to go with me when we test it because he's done a bunch of them i want him to drive it and he said, when, if we got the motor set right on here, it ought to nearly drive itself down the river. And uh, I have been in some tiller steers that was torquing on you all the time, and I ain't going to have that. So I wanted to make sure uh, Rick goes with me. And he said it should be right, but we just want to make sure he wants me to be happy. And I'm tickled pink already, but we want it to do right. Man. This thing is going to be fun. I can't wait to get in the water. It's going to probably be a couple days before I get to a few days. Something we so busy, but, man, this is just cool, y'all. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. He said, make sure. Rick's a little crazy like I am. He said, make sure I wear this because he has been thrown out of it, and he has thrown people out of it. Of course, they play a lot. They do some serious duck hunting and stuff, and it's going to take me a little while probably before I get used to it enough to play with this is one of them beaver dam jumping boats if we ever get that confident in it but anyway i'm fixing to back her back under the shed gotta get some fuel line and uh we'll get rick down here to get down here in the bottom and test but uh what really got me to thinking about one of these was uh that place i usually put my boat in back in here behind our old camp uh, a lot of stumps and stuff in there, and I'd have to ease through there, getting out for daylight, and then it just was out. And he said, you you can just run down through there nearly wide open on this, because this motor's made to, to kick up and all. Y'all can watch all them videos. They have, t Gator Tail has tested this thing. So that's my that's one of my plans, just to get back in there on the backwater and stuff, and be able not tear up stuff, so. And I got another part for my low boat that we hadn't even put on yet that's supposed to help that. But I think overall this is going to be more what we want. But anyway, that's about all. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget nothing. And, and I'm sure we'll go over stuff as we get used to it and get it out. we got to get it out at night and play with the lights and all. But anyway, new custom 1854 with a gator tail on it. EFI 40. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.